A spiritual escape to St. Lucia awaits faith-based travelers looking to explore the rich religious tapestry of the island. According to Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire, efforts are underway to amplify St. Lucia's faith tourism appeal. Last week, in the agreement we signed with the CARICOM Development Fund, um, it provides for financing for a project together with the Catholic Church, the Adjacent uh, Adjacent um, at the Cathedral, for us to be able to um, introduce in there um, a visitor experience. And of course, you would have recalled a few years ago the incident that took place at the Cathedral and the loss of lives. During a New Year's Eve Mass in 2000, two machete-wielding men entered a packed Castries Cathedral, attacked and set fire to churchgoers. The men, who identified as extremist Rastafarian prophets, hacked worshippers and set fire with a blowtorch and fuel. A nun from Ireland, 72-year-old Sister Teresa Egan of the Order of St. Joseph of Culney, was killed and at least 12 others seriously wounded. So there is going to be a free matters shrine, a shrine erected with a narrative, a story about what happened and the importance of it to the Catholic faith. And it will be an opportunity for persons to come and visit the church and in addition to what you traditionally would do in a church, to get an opportunity. Some noteworthy faith tourism locations are Jerusalem, Israel, the Vatican, Italy, and Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Now, for those of you who may have traveled to other parts of the world and have seen some of those um, experiences, um, it, it, it is quite a, a rewarding experience from the perspective of spirituality, but also too in terms of its tourism component to be able to attract um, visitors. For us, it enhances the um, reputation of Castries as a city and as a destination that visitors who come into this country, there'll be more to see in Castries. Um, there's a lot of work to be done in Castries and upgrading Castries, and this certainly will add to it. Faith tourism fosters global tourism growth, promotes universal peace, drives economic recovery, facilitates social interaction, and develops religious centers. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.